Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. Somebody here may have been waiting on an opportunity to team up or collaborate with somebody. It feels like someone had very high hopes. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, the Sun, the Three of Pentacles. It's like waiting on your ships to come in, having very high hopes for a situation. But the Queen of Swords is here in the reverse um, and the Knight of Wands. Someone, you could have had words with a person and now there is some type of truth and clarity that's been spoken. This has made someone else angry or upset. Seven of Cups is in the reverse. Like there's, there's a, re this is a reality check. And it may be hurtful to someone. Somebody could be juggling. If this is like a relationship, somebody could be juggling. Or someone, I'm getting like someone here says, says something to a person and We have everything is fine here in the world. Everything is fine. Like you've learned a lesson. Okay. This could be a lesson that you've previously learned. If this is some kind of rejection, it's protection. With everything is fine in the world here, this is something that perhaps you've gone through before. But the Queen of Swords is in the reverse. So somebody did not bite their tongue about a situation, I feel. And the chariot. Somebody is not biting their tongue. And they're saying that they're, like they're not moving forward with something with the chariot in the reverse. The two of pentacles, a situation is possibly bringing you some kind of instability. Somebody could be um, the knight of swords, like acting very impulsively, saying things that could possibly be hurtful to someone. And it's causing instability. And this is interesting because I talked about this on the channel the other day. Like I said, a lot of people are are fighting their own battles spiritually right now. And yeah, like people are battling their shadows. I, I've, I feel like somebody's feelings are hurt. Because somebody had high hopes. And it's like something is just not... It doesn't feel good. It's not. It doesn't feel good, but Spirit said everything is fine. So even when you feel betrayed, like you're hitting rock bottom, it's like Spirit is like, no, you needed this truth, this clarity. Everything is fine. I'm sorry. I don't like this. I, I like, I really, I just been running errands and everything but i just feel like wow <sighs> what the heck is this you have the high priest of the queen of wands the strength card and the seven of wands for some of you this is like a third party situation or if it's someone is not actively in a third party there's there's an interference here there's an energy that is interfering in something in your life that has to do with matters of the heart the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands is out here and the High Priestess. Lots of like Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Definitely Leo energy. The Seven of Wands and the High Priestess. I feel like a Divine Feminine High Priestess. Um, it is, someone has knowledge about... Oh, okay. All right. I just heard the term tongue lashing. You have a very intuitive person here that just read somebody. <laughs> That's what this is. Somebody somebody has been read. This high priestess is, is picking up the energy of this queen of wands who is possibly trying to keep someone from going towards an opportunity they're creating some kind of stronghold or a blockage or they did in the past this has this knight of swords now going 
towards like some a, a heartbreaking situation or they're being tempted to lie to cheat to be deceptive or this person right now they make um decisions from a place of heartbreak you know i don't want to say that like every person is lying cheating scheming scamming some people are truly dealing with a, a broken heart and i think i said that in the reading yesterday it's like hurt people hurt people somebody here what i truly feel and the, there's not a much of a masculine energy out here the reason why I feel that is, is that this masculine energy is hiding. I feel like this high priestess has told a masculine something and they're, they're getting angry and aggressive because there is an illusion here that has been shattered. Somebody has told someone the truth. Like the reason why there's certain things happening is because you dealt with this person who was unstable. You fell for the okie doke and that's the reason why your life chariot in the, in the reverse is not moving forward because you dealt with some angry bitter malicious person and i don't think that this masculine energy was ready to hear that but everything is fine like i don't know how someone's delivery was when they said this but something was said I'm hearing the same. It's going to hurt me to have to hurt you. I've been picking up a lot of. Um, parent child situations. Lately. For like the last week or so. Now your parents say it's going to hurt me. <laughs> hurt me more to have to spank you. It, it's like that. Like somebody. This high priest is like it's going to. It hurts the fact that I had to tell you the truth, but I just thought that you needed to know. They, you know, you're being reckless. And it's because of your own mistakes. The world card is here, the nine of wands, the queen of pentacles and the nine of swords. There's two nines. Is there something else behind here? Yeah. There's a cycle here that's ending. A cycle ending doesn't mean that something is over forever. But this type of situational, like this pattern, this dynamic, this has to end. And maybe, um, I think I said something like this a few days ago. Um, it, it's bringing me to when I was a cheerleader, we would have what you would call a lemon squeeze. And a lemon squeeze is when everyone gets in a huddle and each person takes turns and they say whatever is on their mind about a particular person or every person on the team. You know, so you could say, hey, you run too slow or, you know, I don't like your ponytail. I don't like your rip, whatever. And I feel like someone has had, like I said, a tongue lashing. Somebody is like, I'm going to tell you about yourself. Now, this could have been done out of anger but someone obviously is like fed up with the situation and i feel like after words were said something here it made a person sad yeah somebody is like yo i didn't i didn't <laughs> i didn't mean to go that far but somebody was able to read into a situation just saw 10 10 on the clock yeah something is a wrap Man, somebody could have went through, somebody could be going through a breakup or some kind of separation or leaving a job. Or something, something, there's something being left. Hmm, Ace of Cups. Look at the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Nine of Cups and everything is fine and the Ace of Pentacles. What? So whatever this is, it's fine. Like, it's fine. Okay, either something will work out with this person or you have something brand new coming right around i mean literally three aces so somebody it's something here that you just needed to go ahead and say what you had to say and let go of it like that's it the nine of swords and then here everything is fine. like somebody here has been stressed out possibly look at that nine 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 is here now nine of cups nine of wands nine of swords somebody is like listen 
this holding on being in this wounded warrior energy distress fear anxiety insomnia uh depression or whatever somebody's like no i'm going to be happy like this that's it that's all that's final i'm going to be happy whatever i said listen if i was wrong i'm sorry but i'm moving on bye and then boom <laughs> triple ace god is like thank you <laughs> now i can bless you thank you thank you now you guys this is energy so if this isn't something happening in your life right now, you could just be holding on to some type of thoughts, feelings, or emotions, and you just need to cry it out, write it out, something. Just like let it go. The Queen of Cups here is getting in touch with like your emotions. Your intuition is screaming at you. Wow, judgment. So you just made a judgment call on a relationship lovers and here is a justice card why are the cards picking? yeah somebody just made oh my goodness someone is taking action to end something either you're ending something with someone from your past you're ending something with a person that you feel is childish or you are putting an end to some type of heartache or pain that you have or you said something to a person who could possibly be dealing with their own issues from the past and it's going to trigger this person now to be like, you know what, I, I probably need to change. Now, for some of you, you're saying something and you and or someone else are changing. I don't know if you're going to come together or not, but something has been said that's really about to trigger some type of change. Yeah, something here is being divinely guided for sure. The judgment and the lovers, whatever was said, whatever was done, it was meant to. The judgment is here with the lovers and the justice. Something has to be balanced out. There's something, there's a karmic imbalance. Somebody was still holding on to a person, some type of um, energy and attachment and a belief or something. And spirit is like, no, this, ha this has to go. I'm putting an end to this right now. 999 it, it something it's like it um it, it's a feeling of exhaustion like i've i've exhausted all of my options here in this situation and that could mean like hey i have to go or that means listen we cannot do this like this anymore whatever this is whether it's family it's parent child it's relationships um platonic friendship in the workplace somebody is it's like it's a clear cut i cannot i will not do this like this anymore and it has some, yeah something to do like the way someone thinks from the way that they were raised as a child or just some like an outdated belief somebody's parents have taught them how to process things a certain type of way or whatever and somebody's like like this is causing a problem for us and i'm not willing to do it someone also could, could have a situation where it's a co like co-parenting issues someone is dealing with a person and they have children with someone else from their past and they're like listen how you're going about this co-parenting situation, I cannot and I will not deal with the or this is your own situation. You're like, I know that we have a child together, but whatever the divorce decree is or whatever, like, let's just go to court and figure this out because the way that we've been doing this is not working. I'm definitely seeing like a, um, a, a, a family court like situation right now. Somebody's like, I can't do this. And it could be because now after a decision has been made for two people to part ways possibly someone is having issues with a child because someone could have a new relationship i know earlier i said too something about parent child there could be a child that is um misbehaving because of a separation mm -hmm. and that's probably why earlier i heard someone was like it's going to it's going to hurt me to have to like spank you. It's going to this is I don't want to see you hurt but like th we can't do this. Somebody is is really putting in those firm boundaries and they're like we're not going to use excuses of the past. I know how it used to be, but no, that's not the case anymore. Something here is changing and an adjustment has to be made. Nine of Pentacles, yeah heavy Virgo energy. Somebody is looking at a situation, assessing it and evaluating and they're like, no, 
I just keep hearing no. <laughs> no. Ten of, wow, Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. There, there's going to be a very good outcome to this situation, though. The Devil card is here with the Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Two of Cups and the Temperance. Okay. Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. It's like being happy, joyful, peaceful, celebrations, unions, parties. But the devil is here. Now, the devil... Uh, I feel like because the devil is here with the Seven of Pentacles, to be honest. And today, these cards, a lot of them, they're not in the reverse. But I feel like this devil, because of the surrounding energy, is this is a, a mindset that has been blocking someone from going towards the Ten of Pentacles. It's like something here makes a person happy. They're eager to celebrate something, but then they run into the devil and the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody here has been invested in something that is toxic and they're seeing it or someone is realizing that the reason why they can't really get excited. Look at this person. She just looks like she's losing patience. It's because of some type of mental block here, something that's troubling to the mind um it's some type of toxic tie or connection um it's the overindulgence or something it could just be the fear um someone could be afraid that like they are losing something or somebody could be afraid that something is not going to go in their favor but it is because you have the ten of pentacles here with the page of pentacles somebody could for sure be getting like a job offer but i just want you to see we have here like pretty much Something that is happening in divine timing with a connection, a partnership, relationship here um, where two people are going to balance a situation out and come together or this is what's coming towards you is being divinely guided once you get something out of your life or just out of your energy. But you have here the judgment with the lover. So again, like all these angel wings are here. Your spiritual team, like they're trying to assist you with whatever this situation is. I feel like you have to call judgment, but it's like they're coming. There's some kind of cleanup work that's being done. Somebody here too is possibly with this Ten of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Pentacles. Right here with the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is, is obsessed with trying to make a situation work. Not in necessarily a bad way, but it's like someone is obsessed over being able to have success in a situation. Like how to move forward. The, the page of pentacles, the two of cups, like somebody is ready to make an offer or you're ready to receive an offer, but you want it to be equal give and take. It, it feels just like a lot of fear. Like, oh, this has to be the one. This has to be the one. And someone's fear of a situation not panning out the way that they had hoped may actually lead a person to, like I said, having this tongue lashing, <laughs> like really saying something to someone that could possibly be a little bit hurtful. But I feel like it's truthful. It's a harsh truth. This could be a situation for sure, though, where kids are involved. This could be like a, a blended family type situation. Somebody's like, listen, we have to do something. Or there is a relationship um, dynamic where, look, I just picked this up and it's solutions. You're going to get a solution to some kind of problem here. Let's just see. Let's try to dig a little bit deeper. What is this? What's the problem here? It's either something with children or like I said, with somebody being childish or both, um, somebody, somebody could have threatened to like leave a person or to divorce them. They're like, if you don't grow up, if you don't pull your weight around here, that's it. Or there could be an apparent here that's telling a, a child, especially like a young adult, if you don't make some changes, I will no longer be helping you in the same capacity that I have been. Like, I'm, I'm not going to do it. It's something like that. And your spiritual team is like. Kudos to you for standing up and saying something because I feel like you're going to get. There's going to be a resolution to this. Let's see. What else is this? What's happening? Let 
whatever this situation is, it's very draining and exhausting. I've been happy-go-lucky, upbeat all day. I sit down do this reading. I suddenly felt like I wanted to cry, and it's just exhausting. Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You're going to get what you want. The Two of Wands. Whether this is security, it's like an opportunity for you to focus on yourself, to heal, to have wish fulfillment, happiness, to be at peace, to spiritually cleanse and purify yourself. You're going to have that. And this may be you needing to take some time out for yourself to like love on yourself, pamper yourself. The Ace of Pentacles, there is some kind of offer or an opportunity coming in. It could be in love. It could be in career finances or, or both. But there is a chance meeting, a faded type of meeting here that's happening for some of you. The Two of Wands. Yeah. Spirit is saying for you with the Fool card, it's, it's a, a fresh start or something just brand new coming in. And it has to do with the lovers. And there's a spiritual connection here. The high priestess is here. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords. It's like something has been cleared out. Possibly because you took action to speak out on how you felt about something. I feel like for somebody here, yeah, there, there's a transformation. It's like you've been holding on to some type of personal truth. And by you just saying it how you feel, it's really it, it's freeing your energy up. And something something here is very spiritual, and it has everything to do with your energy and your throat chakra and using your voice. By you simply just saying I don't like something, or you saying no, putting up boundaries, it changes everything. Like I mean everything. Something here is is ending. But there's a transformation. If this is a relationship, I don't know if the situation is transforming with this person. But how you go into relationships in the future is definitely going to like change. Like if you went through something in this past situation or you're going through something now, the next one is like, okay, I got it right. Because now you're finally saying, I'm not doing that. Or if you've been kind of walking on eggshells with somebody, you're like, no, we'll have scrambled eggs today. Like I'm not doing this. <laughs> Somebody got the message like, okay. Or it's just energetically, you sent out a new signal. That's what I'm getting. It's like you're, 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 you're moving now to a different frequency. And it's a frequency of, I'm not taking anybody's mess. You're not going to disturb my peace. So the situations that are going to be coming towards you now they should bring you more peace, more security and stability because this this right here, this conflict, five of wands, this conflict, this drama, you're like, no, I'm out. I'll pack up, I'll leave, I'll relocate, I'll transfer to a different department, different company. No, I'm not doing it. It's not emotionally. You're like, no, I'm moving on to peaceful, calm waters. This, having this instability, struggling, being at odds with myself and people around me, you're like, no, I'm not doing it. And you're moving on. You are moving on. Some of you, if this is work, you have someone that's constantly micromanaging you. If it's a relationship, you have the type of person that could be possessive or jealous. And you're like, no, I'll just be happy by myself. Or, you know, let me let me find something else to focus on. Because th th this isn't it. So I don't know. I really don't, for everyone... Of course, the outcome is different. I'm getting love and career finances here. Five of Cups. Some kind of like guilt, regret, disappointment. The Three of Cups. But whatever this is, it's like it's over and then it's, it, it, it realigns itself. This feels like some kind of argument. I'm not, I'm not picking up anything that's like a... I'm not picking up a permanent ending. I'm picking up the end of a cycle, the end of doing something a certain way. You know, I, what I'm seeing in my head is like when a person decides to go on a very strict diet and they go through all of their cabinets, their refrigerator, and they literally just clean everything out. This, I'm seeing a, a major reset. I'm also seeing, well, I'm seeing somebody deleting like a whole text message thread. You're like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not reading this. I'm not responding. I'm not reacting. Like, no, I'm just not doing it. I'm seeing somebody slamming down their laptop now. 
don't break your screen, please. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's the energy of just, I'm done. I, I don't know what it's like. I'm not, I can't really pick up what this is. It, it has something to do with children, with family. Look, you can see it in these cards. Even. This person is stressed. Overwhelmed. Consumed. And again, somebody could have children. They could have a young young adult, like a teenage child in the home. And you're like, listen, you're not helping with the younger kids. Like, you're on the phone. Video games. You're not doing your homework. Like, somebody is just at their wit's end. That's all I can say. <laughs> um... Someone's intuition is just telling them that something here is just, it's not the right vibe. And it's like, a, I'm getting this energy like cleaning house. Like somebody is going, I'm seeing a person now going through the house, like every child's room, like you need to get up, you need to do this, you need to do that. You know, even if it's, a, if if you have a partner, you're telling that person and you need to pull, your, like everybody needs to pull their weight. I'm not pulling anybody else's weight. That's, that's what I'm getting. And that's kind of what Virgo season will do, though, of course. Like you're you're dotting all your I's. You're crossing all your T's. You're closely examining everything. You're assessing and evaluating the things around you, yourself, your home, your budget, everything. And it looks like somebody has done an assessment and they're like, yeah, everything here must, must change. Everything has to go. Yeah, the Empress could definitely be a mother and the star. You're going towards your destiny. And everything right now that is not aligned, you're like, it has to go. It has to change today or it has to go. You get right or you get left. And it's just that simple. You, somebody's like, this is very black and white. I'm not seeing gray. No more colors of the rainbow. It's black and white. You get it or you get lost. You get right, you get left. So it's just, that's it. This divine feminine is not taking any prisoners right now. None. <laughs> whoever this message is for you will know what this is <laughs> six of wands you're going to have victory and success because you're communicating your truth and you have this mental clarity yeah it's been too much deception around you too much self-deception not a source somebody here definitely has like a teenage or young adult and this person looking at these like they're sneaking around or something and you're like some somebody is very stressed out by like a, a young adult this could be a sibling or something but somebody's like this this just cannot happen ten of cups somebody's family is too much of a burden to them and it has you now saying i'm just gonna go within or you trying to create happiness for other people around you, friends, family, it has become too much of a burden. And what you're being advised to do now is go within. Go within. Take the time for yourself. You don't have to isolate, but go within. And this time when you go within, like I said, don't isolate. And don't be afraid to tell people how you feel. Deliver, deliver things with tact. But don't be afraid to say, this is too much. I'm overwhelmed. Somebody is just very overwhelmed. It's like you need to take some time off, take a vacation. Four of Cups is in the reverse. It's like you're discontent, you're bored. If you don't get out of whatever this energy is, you're going to become very like apathetic. Like you're going to lose sympathy, empathy, and everything for everyone. And some of you too, you have a person in your life this king of swords, this person is very matter of fact. This could actually be the person who's coming off as very cold and detached. And you're like, you know what? Don't worry about it. You can keep your cold, detached behavior there. I'll just go and manifest the king of cups. Don't worry about it. I'll make, I'll manifest the king of cups that's more in alignment with my values. Somebody that knows how to be emotionally available. Somebody, I just keep, somebody's like, no, don't, don't worry about it. Just, that's okay. <laughs> don't worry about it nope i'll get it just move just get out nope let's just go to court about it don't worry about it somebody's like i'm not arguing i'm i'm not arguing with you i'm not going there with you i'm not mean i'm not mad i'm just done wow 
hangman. And I guarantee you, this is going to make somebody have a wake up call. Somebody's like, wow. But this is you pulling your energy all the way back. See, when people don't understand your value, you don't have to argue with them. You don't have to fuss. You don't have to fight. You simply remove the things that you know creates value for them. Somebody's going to wake up real soon and be like, okie dokie, yeah. Divine Feminine was the reason why we was protecting and we was having any kind of good karma or justice. When Divine Feminine steps back, every, listen, everything is going to start going haywire. And they're like, oh, this is like a mother that's like, you know what? I'm not cleaning up anymore. And then all of a sudden the house is just filthy. And everybody's like, oh, or you stop cooking and whoever your partner is, they're like, wow. So grocery shopping and cooking is it, it, it's very time consuming and it's hard. This is you cut you cut this college kid or this teenager off and you say, okay, well I tell you what, I'm gonna take the, the car keys and I'm gonna cut off the allowance and the money and now they're like, Oh, wow, okay. Maybe maybe I need to change my behavior. That's what this is. Somebody is about to realize, somebody is coming into the realization that, like, yeah, they're childish. Three of Swords. They're childish, and their childish behavior is the reason why the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, their childish behavior is the reason why someone is being left out in the cold. Someone is walking away from a situation. The Emperor is here in the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Hmm. I don't know if it's an emperor here that's realizing that they're being childish. I mean, it could be a karmic feminine. It could be a divine feminine. Anybody could be in somewhat of a childish type of behavior. But you have an emperor here now. And behind the emperor is the six of pentacles. The knight of wands. Queen of wands. The three of pentacles. Ace of wands. Page of wands. Ten of swords. It's divorce. So you have a masculine energy that's either realizing that they've been dealing with someone. So what I heard specifically, I hear a divine feminine telling someone, I'm not childish like the other people that you've been with. So what you're doing here is not going to work. I heard that. But what I was about to say from what I was picking up just from the card, it's like a masculine out here that's either waking up and realizing that they need to move away from Someone that is very toxic and low vibrational because their life is delayed due to the behavior of this person. Because they're, I'm reading for sure, I'm picking up a, a couple out here that has a lot of chaos, conflict, jealousy, possessiveness, and just toxicity within their relationship. It's finally time for this to be over. My ears have been ringing for like 20 seconds straight. They won't stop. Mm. Whoa. It's still going. Boy, oh boy, somebody is mad. Jeez. The devil. And here's the emperor still, the devil. This too is like someone has like the mother of their child or ex-wife girlfriend from hell. And you have a divine feminine that's just like, listen, if you want to continue to deal with the situation with your ex, and whatever co-parenting situation that you have that is not working right now for our connection, like you can have that and I'm moving on. Don't worry about it. Yeah, something here is just over. It's it's over. I mean, the world and the death card. When you see, yeah, five of swords. These people, this is somebody fussing, fighting, arguing. Like somebody has pure 
hell in their house. This this feels like this has to be happening with somebody right now. And someone is waiting on a masculine or hoping to have some type of expansion with this masculine. Like somebody's ships are coming in when it comes to a masculine being able to give them equal give and take. So whatever the situation is, it does feel like when you actually say to someone that this is truly a problem for you, that it's going to change. There's going to be some kind of resolution here. But I feel like again, it, the the most important you just have to say something. You have to. Oh my gosh! I just put the deck down and looked over the four of wands. Yeah, yeah. Somebody is like, if we're gonna get married, move into a new home, celebrate. You're gonna have to check this situation now, or pretty much like I can go elsewhere. Ace of Ace of Cups, King of Wands. Somebody's like, no. I will make a decision to move in a totally different direction, but I feel that this masculine is going to make the decision to get whatever this situation is back on course because they're like, wow, there's been a bunch of illusions here. The moon, the chariot, and the temperance. Somebody is struggling with their shadow right now. Somebody is like purging something out of their their heart their subconscious mind a battle relationship this could be someone that has very deep um phobias about commitment like somebody could have had um a lot of drama with you know a, a spouse a partner children family in-laws or whatever and now it's time for them to give this equal give and take this recipro reciprocity in a new connection and they're not doing it like it's a lot of this push and pull friction and i feel like there's a divine feminine for sure that's like i'm i have one foot out the door you can either check this bull crap at the door and get it together or i'm gone because something about the energy here for some of you this is currently happening this is a situation but for some someone has ptsd from a very bad relationship they're not even in a relationship anymore but they're just struggling to move forward in a new relationship for some of you you're dealing with more than one person you have one person that is actively dealing with just like karmic hell somewhere but they keep trying to get into your energy as if they want to come back to you because you offer peace right you're nine of cups ace of pentacles like you're prosperous you're prosperous you're abundant and you're at peace you're happy you're confident with yourself this person when they have drama at home they start to think about you they need to stay where they are in their hell hole but then you also it's like there's another person for some of you that's in your energy and this person they're like afraid of commitment because maybe they they're a divorcee they've gotten out of a bad situation whatever the case is and you're like no i've already been through this type of mess before i'm not doing it again so if you don't want to heal and get your life together and present to me your absolute best then you can leave too it's just a divine feminine that's like that's serious right now i feel about manifesting a new beginning and you're like anybody that comes towards you with some mess especially when it's something that you've already been through you're like no i'm not doing it but there is a situation with one one person here that i feel is going to actually put in the work to like make amends or make sure that you know you guys can get on the same page i feel like it's more so the person that is trying to release something more so like energetically or emotionally I just see here trial and error. So, and then you have here an angel, which is something is, like I said, divinely guided. You need to ask your spiritual team for help right now. Because somebody is, somebody is inexperienced when it comes to relationships or handling conflict. They're not experienced in that. Or somebody doesn't like to try new things. I feel like you're trying to tell someone like, hey, we need to communicate in a different way. And this person, they're like, well, no, I don't do it like that. And what I'm hearing is somebody's like, well, it didn't work with you before. <laughs> Please try not to bring up someone's past. But seriously, somebody's like, well, obviously, there's a track record of, of, of failure here. 
due to this type of communication. Somebody is a people pleaser. Somebody's like, listen, and, and this person, when they don't know how to communicate, they want to communicate with passion. Lust, passion, and it's like, no. Learn how to open your mouth and communicate. But you have abundance coming. You're going into a new phase of your life. There's possibly going to be a reconciliation after facing some kind of obstacles and challenges. You're going to receive wish fulfillment. Something is being divinely guided. And here you have children. Look at this. Children and clean up. Didn't I say that earlier? <laughs> Somebody's telling their kids, like, everybody needs to get up, clean up, get this house together. We're not doing this. I know school recently started for a lot of people. You're like, no. This school year is not going to be like the last school year. Get your butt up and pull your weight around here. But you guys are also decluttering your minds. Like when it comes to any kind of childish behavior, like I said, uh, lack of awareness or experience with communication, whether it's you or you dealing with someone, it's time now to say how you feel. Because you need justice when it comes to these karmic contracts. And then you have the Phoenix card here. So the things that you've, you've lost are being returned to you. You're coming out of despair. You're coming out of this karmic energy because you've learned some type of lesson. Wow. You've learned a lot about relationships. I don't think I've ever seen this. You have man and woman here together. And this card says feeling tested with the situation. So it's like you're the this this in this Phoenix energy, the Phoenix rising from the ash. I said that in a reading the other day, because you're coming out of a really toxic, like karmic situation. And you could even be having fears of commitment yourself, but you could have attracted someone that is also coming out of something. They here have fears of Commitment or you guys are running into communication challenges, which is to be expected considering we have about two weeks left in Mercury Retrograde. So Mercury Retrograde has shown up at somebody's front door and was like, hey, I'm here to cause chaos with all of the conflict here in this home. And it's it's it's, it's working, I feel. And somebody could have just broken up with somebody or you're single and you're like, this situation has been up in the air. Are we together or are we not? Do you want to work on this or not? Because I can be single or you are single. You're like, I can stay single. Like, what are we doing? But somebody here, you're, it's a, it's a magnetic attraction. Love, relocation. Wow. I'm seeing so much stuff. Some of you guys, you're about to move in with someone or you recently moved in with a person and you're just kind of having growing pains. This could, again, like for some of you be a blended family. It's like you guys are either in each other's space. You moved in with each other. You're considering moving in and you're like, whoa, this is a lot because there's communication challenges. Don't let these communication challenges get the best of you. It's just Mercury Retrograde doing its thing. But it's here to teach you that how you communicate can be improved as well as how someone else communicates and then with virgo season being here and we just had that pisces full moon this is your intuition is showing you clearly right now what you really need to work on and anything like i said that is not in alignment or it feels like it's childish it's not beneficial to you you're like no it has to go <laughs> which is a good thing i feel like everybody is like cleaning house right now um you know, the seasons are about to change soon. We're going into fall. You know, for, I feel like playtime is over. You know, people, we're in September. It's, start, it's time to start manifesting and planning, getting things together for next year. So, for sure, playtime is over. And for some of you, you're working hard right now on a lot of self-love, psychic, um, and like, development. But you also are working on love, like partnerships and relationships and yeah, for sure. Two of Cups, you want something that's reciprocal and it has to bring you peace, balance, and harmony. If it doesn't, you're like, I don't want it. Eight of Swords, you refuse to deal with any type of confusion or illusions. Be be careful not to say mean, nasty, rude things. But some of you, whatever this karmic energy is that keeps showing up, it's really pushing you. So you may need to make sure, you know, cleanse and clear your energy because there is a karmic energy that is constantly coming in to interfere energetically, either with you or someone that you're connecting with. 
And this is happening because a lot of you are getting close to union. So you're being tested. Okay. But look, this says boundaries. It's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to speak up and tell someone like, yeah, I like this. This is a good thing. But we can't communicate. There's something about the, the dynamic that needs to be changed. I'm, I'm still picking up like two people. It's like one person that you're just like, it's it's a, a just a no. Just leave me alone. You need to close all, you know, shut down all access with this person. But then you have another person where it's like, and it, these people that's coming up in your, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be friend, family member, whomever. It's like somebody here, I feel like they're supposed to be in your life. If not for a lifetime, at least for a reason and a season. But still, the dynamic, especially how you communicate, there's it needs to change because there's challenges. Wow. You have a false twin flame. Something here is, or it was just a lesson. It's not a divine connection. It's only here, or it was only here to test you. Yeah, see, you have a new beginning. And this is what I'm saying. You're coming out of one toxic situation and you're going into a new situation but the new situation is also challenging and this false twin flame is trying to start over with you yeah but this new person that you want to take a leap of faith with this person right now is unawakened they're not as awakened and as aware as you so this is causing you to kind of spaz out because you i feel like you expect this person to have more self-awareness this has you in in a bit of pain right now some of you need to be careful too because if you're struggling right now with your friends your family or even with the new love interest you may be tempted to go back to a false twin flame because you're like oh well you know with that person that the, the toxicity it's addictive and it's passionate but they're, they're not actually aligned with you spiritually. But when you start just running into the same thing, you will start to believe that, oh, it's okay for you to settle. And going back to the past, it, it starts to look okay, you know? <laughs> Spirit said, no, focus on new love. The card said it, not me. Don't go back. Look, changes. Time for ch it's time for change. Something new is coming in, or, or you're dealing with somebody now, okay? And it's like, no, somebody else is coming in. Know yourself for you don't have to settle for anything that makes you uncomfortable. That is setting off your nervous system. <laughs> yeah, forgiveness. Don't sit in regret, and don't let anybody take your kindness for weakness. You have something coming in, though, this un it's an unconditional love. But to be honest, whoever this new person is, who is also unawakened, sort of unawakened, but I think it is like a divine connection, you guys may have to have some time apart. Especially if you, this is the person that you're telling, like, hey, you need to step it up. And this may have hurt to have to tell this person, like, I can't. I, I can't do this or I won't do this. For sure, whoever this false twin flame is, they really miss you. And you're probably picking up on their pain. But this person is, is ruled by their ego. They're unawakened and they have no plans of changing that. Wish fulfillment. And somebody needs to talk. Yeah, so whoever this person is that you're separated from or that you're about to take some time apart from, I feel like once they have some kind of realization that this is like a past life connection and there is some type of lesson to be learned here, but that they really want to be in your life. Um, yeah, look at that. It says karmic partner, past life lessons. Some of you like a, you have a divine connection with someone, but there is some kind of past life karma. I don't think that they're karmic like a, as a, a false twin flame in that way, but there is karma as in both of you have some kind of healing that needs to take place before you can come into a union. So it's like the battle of your shadows, your shadow and their shadow. Yeah, they're coming back though. Somebody wants to start fresh. 
But I think that you guys, you needed to take the mask off and say how you really feel. And for some of you, you really need to just get away because you're very triggered right now because of all of this self-growth. There's a lot of growing pains here. You need to get out of your environment. You need to go on a trip, a vacation, a, a spa day, something. Yeah. You need to allow yourself to be happy. And whoever this karmic person is, yeah, this third party, this karmic person here, they just need to be left out in the cold. Okay? And if you're dealing with a person right now, like, they're not really giving you what you want. If they still have someone in their energy or even if they're still dealing with someone, they, I, for some reason, I don't really feel that a lot of people are actually dealing with people from their past it's just the energy it's so much projection there's a fire sign feminine energy that is constantly trying to get back into the life or the energy of a masculine this for some of you if you're the divine you could be dealing with this this masculine energy they have an ex they could have children with that person could have been married to the person whatever that person is constantly trying to get back in. But again, Mercury retrograde, you guys know someone has a very important lesson that they need to learn about their past and a, a past person. And to add insult to injury, you have a person that's deeply jealous and regretful because you're moving forward <laughs> in your life with someone new. It's just a lot of just past energies. You got this is energy. Do not let it shake you to your core. People wanting to keep up with you and come back, that's their own personal problem. You should be focused right now on connecting with new people that are part of your soul tribe and raising your vibration and looking at things from a different perspective. It's just time for you to change and it's time to really heal your inner child and do the shadow work. And now that what's happening is because you're doing this deep shadow work and healing, your vibration is, is, is raising, rising. And it's like the people that you are cutting off who are karmic, it's making them really long for you more. They can sense that you're in this high vibing energy. They're longing for you. Like they want to get their claws in you so bad. But it's time now for you to like redeem yourself. But it's like when you try to redeem yourself, this person, somebody wants to reach out to you. But now again, for some of you that's separating from someone and it's like a temporary separation, when they decide to come back around and you guys talk, they're going to be coming in with some kind of truth and they're going to want a fresh start and they may like really want to, wow, within a few months, twin flame, you're receiving like a real offer from your twin flame. And I feel like your twin flame is a newer person or someone that you don't know. Somebody is going to confess to you that they see themselves, you know, just doing life with you. Like they really, really miss you. And Spirit said it's safe for you to love. This is a good change coming. But yes, you do have an option between two different people. You have to make a choice between two. Somebody is going to try to come in and deceive you and kind of bait you back in with money. This could be your earth sign within a few weeks. Yeah, you need to this toxic, karmic, false twin flame. This person tries to use money and power or status to get you back. But what you really want is loyalty. And the person that's going to bring you loyalty, you may be, I feel like right now, Virgo season, that hermit energy, you're separating yourself from everybody, <laughs> trying to decide, like, who do you want to move forward with? Because you don't want anything dealing with a person where it's going to be deception, dishonesty, cheating, or, and you don't want somebody that's too clingy either. You don't want anything that's, you know, just karmic, any kind of manipulative, toxic energy. Spirit is saying for you to, right now, you need to wait. When it comes to love, matters of the heart, wait. Wait until you really feel safe for there to be a fresh start with the right person. Okay. Um, when I just looked at this deck over here, I see new love is here, here and now. But you do need to have firm boundaries because you or someone or both of you are learning a spiritual lesson right now. It's time for healing. This Virgo energy is the hermit. You have to heal 
some of you, your, you and your twin flame or this life partner, you guys, you have some kind of karma from a past life that you need to heal. And as I say that, the devil is here in the five of pentacles. So a fear of abandonment, a fear of rejection, um, a fear of poverty, instability, whatever it is, that's the type of karma that has the two of you stuck in confusion, not really sure if you should be taking a passionate leap forward towards each other. You both have to heal your own like inner child issues around those type of inner child problems, right? So yeah, look, new love here now, boundary, spiritual lesson, healing, play hard. Like I said, go out, have fun, whether it's you alone or with your soulmate but this soulmate here is leading to marriage but you do have to get rid of this third party interference and this is person for a lot of you that's from your past their false twin flame they keep interfering energetically you need that person out of your energy which means that you're going to have to forgive that person and move on you you still being upset with them is keeping them in your energy i know it's easier said than done but seriously it takes a lot of energy to strongly dislike or to hate a person or whatever. Once you just really get to the point where you're over it, you don't care and you're totally focused on the new, that person won't be able to send these like energetic attacks towards you. Okay.